So when I went to Dubai back in December of 2021, I went to visit my friend Gautam Kambargeri, who owns a place there called Brewing Gadgets. While I was there, he was like, hey man, why don't you try this thing out? And you know, for me personally, I'm the kind of, the kind of guy that's like, I don't really need more coffee gear. I don't need all this new and innovative stuff. How much can you improve on what we already have? And there's always gadgets coming out every year that to me seems superfluous. Like, why would I need that? Why do I want to need that? But you know, we're in coffee and so there's always some kind of innovation happening. And one of the things that he gave me was this thing called Zero by a company called Trinity. And it's when it says press with a purpose. Basically, there's a whole environmental thing about it that because it's a small device, it uses less materials and has better impact on our planet ecologically. Well, if you really wanted to have a better impact ecologically, you just wouldn't make anything at all and just leave it all glass and what we have now. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so it's got a cute little packaging. It's nice and compact, which is a positive thing, especially if you want to if you're thinking about like coffee items for traveling, small is always better, I think. All right, so let's open it up and see what we got. Uh, oh, it's a white one. Oh, thank you for choosing zero. Oh, it's very cute. It's all pretty much self-contained. There is a lid that has this little valve on it. Oh, there we go. There's a little tiny hole here at the bottom. And the idea is that it's a pressurized brewing system. So you're going to take this portafilter basket, or I guess it wouldn't be a portafilter, but just a basket, but it basically has a portafilter design where you lock it into the bottom, add your water, and then pump it up. That's terrible. But I like the white, it's kind of cool looking in white, right? It's nice and attractive. There's a black one too, but this one actually looks better. So it's a stainless steel bottomed basket that is designed to hold up to 18 grams. And it's supposed to be a medium fine grind. And it pressurizes like an espresso. So basically you'll put that in, you don't have to temp it, you just kind of level it out, put it in, lock it, add your water. And then there's actually a line here that marks 100 milliliters. Then you just take it in. Now there, it's adding air. So it's pressurizing the chamber and forcing the water through the, the dispersion screen. So there's actually a, a rubber or silicone. Does that come out? No, I should not force that out. Uh, there's actually a silicone dispersion screen here that has holes in it and helps to regulate the flow. So. I imagine that once you add the water, because the holes are open, the uh, gravity takes place and automatically starts to pull the water through the holes in this dispersion screen and starting to wet the puck. So you wanna have it all assembled before you start. So let's give it a try and see what happens. I've already got 18 grams of this beautiful House Nation coffee. You can get it at uh, spurcoffee.com. I blended it myself, an homage to my years as a DJ doing house music here in Baltimore. It's a great little blend. I think you'll enjoy it. So we got 18 grams of that. We're just gonna put it in here and it should fit. This looks a little bit on the coarser side than what I would like. So we'll shake, shake, shake. I'm not gonna be too worried about the distribution so much. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know, I feel like if you look at this, this is a you know, medium ground, but I would like it to be finer. I feel, I feel like I want it to be finer. So we're gonna make sure that the wings are all, or the, the rim is clean. Lock it in place. We're gonna get our little brew device. And now we're just gonna add the water. That's not good, oops. I'm just gonna add it to the line. That should give us 100 mils. Start the timer. It's, as you can see, it's bubbling, so it's actually flowing through. So we're gonna wait 30 seconds for it to just kind of filter through and like hydrate the coffee. And I am guess it's gonna expand the coffee inside. We're starting to see a couple drips come through. We're at 20 seconds now. 
I'm going to put the cap on and we're going to press. Now one of the things I saw online was that this guy was pressing, I guess you could use your thumb or whatever finger you want, but just press once and hold. doing it's not doing anything Let's press again oh there we go now it's starting to flow I don't know if that's it's slow going I'm hearing chirping, but I can't tell if it's coming from the device or maybe it's some birds that are outdoors, outside on the other side of the wall. Now there's a little bit of heat coming through the, the button. Not uncomfortable, but just surprising. You wouldn't expect that there would be heat. It is, it is heat from boiling water or 200 degree water. So it's not comfortable. Not it's not uncomfortable either, but it's not. This is not expeditious. There's still, there's still a bit more. All right. If you look at this online, like I watched a couple of videos, the one video from Trinity themselves and then this other one from a place in Australia called Alternative Brewing to get an idea of how to use this. And it looks a lot simpler. And there were two minutes. And it's a lot less messy. Like it's actually come down this. Is that right? Oh, maybe that's just water. Oh, no, that's water I dropped. Okay, so never mind. But it's not. It's not. Oh, then I don't know. This is. There's still more. Two minutes thirty-five seconds. If you're trying to brew coffee, like if you're out somewhere and you want to impress a lady friend and you want to do this elegantly and seem like you know what you're doing, this is not the way to do it. This, this is, okay, that's pretty much everything. Okay, there's a little bit of dripping, so let's push. The guy in Alternative Brewing said to pump the air out so you get more, so we got, what about three minutes? Three minutes, right? So we'll stop there, stop. Set to pump it a few times so that you can kind of dry out the puck that's left. How does that look? Oh, very puckish. Now that took about three minutes at this, what I think is a relatively coarse of medium grind. If I was finer, it would take longer. And I don't know if that's a positive thing. So here's our elixir. It is cloudy uh, and smells good. I guess you could say it's kind of espresso-ish. Yes, maybe. House Nation tastes like genius. It's brocoffee.com. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I'm not kidding about that. Buy, buy the coffee. Give it a try. Love to, love to give it a try. And love for you to hear what you think about it. Uh, the coffee itself I mean, it definitely has that flavor that I'm looking for with this blend, but it's a little bit on the muddier side. Like there's, it definitely feels heavy, especially compared to other styles of brewing. They say that, I guess it's a concentrated, you know, kind of like an espresso, you could add water for like an Americano style coffee. I wouldn't say this is espresso. It is a pressurized brew. We're definitely not getting to the point of 135 PSI to get that real good extraction. That's a little bit better. Diluted, a little bit better. A little more pleasant, not as cloudy. For this initial um, viewing, I think that it's, a, it's interesting. Would I want to carry it with me on a trip? I don't know. It does pack itself up really well. I'm not terribly blown away by it. I may have to play around with it a little bit more. It's cool, the idea is cool. It's a compact device that you have to clean now. How would you clean this? So 
So it requires rinsing and, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason for this. Like, do I need two pieces? Do, do I want to replace like a simple pour over or French press or what do you call that? Clever with this. If, you, if you're looking for a travel device, it offers a more compact size, which is great. I don't think it enhanced the experience of this coffee, but of course, all coffees are different. What may be not so amazing in this device, another coffee may be perfectly amazing, like wonderful and like maybe even life-changing. So I don't know, I have to say it's a maybe. It's a maybe. The zero from Trinity is a maybe. I'm here to have coffee. What a way to start the day. What's your coffee you're most excited about? Yeah.